Here we will discuss the motion of a body in a moving reference frame. We just analyze this concept with the help of an practical illustrative example. In this situation, say on a flat road, say we are having a railroad car like this, and say the railroad car is moving with a velocity v c is equals to five meters per second, and say there is a boy who is standing on the car. This boy starts running on the car with the velocity v b is equals to two meters per second, toward right in the same direction in which the car is moving. So here we can see this velocity v b is on the car, or this is the velocity which is as measured from car or relative to car. Now, when some observer who is standing on ground, when from ground frame or with respect to ground, when we just have a look on this observer. This runner V B. If we just have a look on this runner who is running on the car with the speed V B is equals to two meters per second. As seen from ground, we can say velocity of runner with respect to ground. This can be written as velocity of this runner B with respect to ground. This can be written as V B plus V C. Because when he was at rest on the car, we can say it was moving. Earlier, it was moving with a velocity v c that is five meters per second. When he starts running on the car, its velocity two meters per second will be an additional velocity is having other than this five meters per second. So we can say his net velocity will be two plus five that is seven meters per second. In the similar manner, say we take up another example in which the A runner is running in a different direction. Like, for an example, say we are having a platform, and this platform is moving in x direction with a velocity v b is equals to four meters per second. So here, v p vector we can simply write as four i cap. And say a runner is there on the platform who runs in a perpendicular direction with a velocity v b. And say this v b is equals to three meters per second. So in this situation, the velocity vector of runner can be written as three j cap meters per second because he is running in y direction. Now what happens as we observe this runner from ground? Say some observer is there on ground and he look at the runner. He'll feel that runner is moving in this direction, y direction, as well as he is having a velocity v p with which the platform is moving. So he'll feel that the runner is running in this direction. This is the net velocity of runner. So here, velocity of runner net, if we wish to calculate, this will be v b plus v p. In such cases, always in the velocity of object who is moving on a particular reference frame, the velocity of reference frame is added to the velocity of object. So this will be. You can simply state it is three j cap plus four i cap. In magnitude, if we just calculate the net velocity, it will be five meters per second. At an angle, you can simply state it is ten inverse of three by four. So it is five meters per second at an angle thirty seven degree with the positive direction of x axis. Always remember, in such cases, whenever An object is moving on a reference frame. Always, the velocity of reference frame is added into the velocity of object to get the net velocity of object with respect to ground. Based on the similar logic, let's discuss another concept, which is the motion of a swimmer in a river. Say we are having a flowing river, in which the water is flowing, and the velocity of the river current is say u f. Say so it is flowing from west to east, and on one bank of river, say at a point A, there is a swimmer, and from this point A, he wishes to reach the point B on the other bank, which is directly opposite to point A. And say if he jumps into the river and starts swimming with the velocity v s, it is given that v s vector. This v s is the velocity of swimmer. Relative to water, 
So if it is the velocity of swimmer relative to water and he swims at a velocity vs and as he is swimming in the water, the water velocity will be certainly added to it or water is the reference frame in which swimmer is swimming at a velocity vs. So we can simply state net velocity of swimmer with respect to ground is Velocity of swimmer net can be written as Vs plus Uf because Uf is the velocity of river that is the reference frame of swimmer. So we can simply add it vectorially if this is Vs, if Uf is added into it, the resultant vector would be in this direction. So swimmer will be swimming effectively in this direction with respect to ground and he will reach the position C on the other bank rather than reaching the point B. However, he has put all of his efforts in swimming in the direction perpendicular to the river current. But due to the river current, he is drifted along with the water and he reaches the point C. So this distance by which he is drifted along the water is called drift due to river flow, which is xd. This we can simply write as drift due to river flow. Now say if width of river is d, he was continuously crossing or putting his efforts in crossing the river is at a speed vs. So here vs we can simply call as crossing velocity of swimmer and uf the flow of river current. It is not giving any contribution in crossing, but due to this river current swimmer is being drifted away along with the river current from point b to c or from point a to c. So drift velocity we can write simply as uf. So here we can write crossing velocity of swimmer this is equals to Vs and if we talk about drift velocity of swimmer this is equals to Uf. Now if we just calculate the time in which he will be able to cross the river that will be certainly calculated by Vs only. So we can simply write time to cross river this can be simply given as d by vs because he is crossing the river in y direction or in the direction perpendicular to river current with the velocity vs and he has to cover a distance d with the speed vs so time will be this. Similarly we calculate the drift this drift is provided by only the river current because the swimmer is just putting his efforts in crossing the river not along the river. So we can simply calculate the drift xd this can be written as uf multiplied by the time this is the time in which he has crossed the river multiplied by the flow velocity of river as the drift along the river by which he is drifted so it can be written as uf into d by vs and if you wish to calculate the net velocity with which the swimmer is crossing the river or effectively is moving from point a to point c this velocity of swimmer net can be simply given by this velocity triangle the magnitude of this arrow that will be root of vs square plus uf square. If we calculate the time taken in crossing the river which we have calculated simply by d upon vs, this can also be calculated by actual motion of swimmer that is ac upon root of vs square plus uf square. There is also a way out for calculation of time. So be careful about this whole analysis of a motion of a swimmer in a river because we are going to discuss several examples based on this concept. In sequence, let's discuss the downstream swimming in a flowing river. Say we are having the river similar to what we have studied and say the water is flowing at a river current uf and say the river width is d and now the swimmer at location A jumps into the river in the downstream direction or in the direction where the river is flowing. So this point is B which is directly opposite to one bank of the river. Now the uh, swimmer jumps into the river with a velocity Vs at an angle say theta from the direction of normal to the bank. As soon as he jumps the river velocity will be added to it that is Uf. 
So the net velocity of swimmer V S net will be obtained by vector sum of the swimmer velocity and the velocity of its reference stream that is water. So he'll be finally moving in this direction and he'll be able to reach the position C. In this situation, you can see as he jumps into the river in downstream direction, rather than reaching to the point D where he is heading, he'll be able to reach the point C, which is in the direction of river flow. So this drift is due to the flow of river. In this situation, the total drift with respect to the point which is directly opposite to the bank of the river from where he jumps, that is B, this can be written say X D. And here C D is the drift which is only due to the river flow. Now if we calculate the crossing velocity of swimmer, here you can simply state the velocities in this direction. It will have two components. One is perpendicular to the river flow, other is along the river flow. Here this perpendicular component can be written as V S cos theta and the component which is along the river flow which is V S. Sin theta. V S cos theta is the velocity with which the swimmer is crossing the river. So crossing velocity of swimmer can be written as only V S cos theta. And if we find out the total drift speed or total drift velocity of swimmer, this V D can be written as one is V S sin theta due to which it is swimming in the direction of river flow. As well as this U F, which is the velocity of river current, which is also there in the swimmer, so it can be simply written as V S sine theta plus U F. V S sine theta plus U F is the total drift velocity with which the swimmer is moving along the river. In this situation, if we find out the time taken to cross the river, we just find time to cross river. This time can be simply written as d by v s cos theta, because v s cos theta is the velocity with which he is crossing the river, and he has to cover a distance d with the velocity v s cos theta. And if we wish to find out the total drift, so total drift x d can be calculated by distance travelled by the swimmer along the river flow with this drift velocity in this time. So this total drift can be written as V S sin theta plus U F multiplied by d by V S cos theta. This is the total drift of the swimmer. If we just calculate the drift due to river flow, so river flow is at a velocity U F. So here this distance d to c can be written as drift due to river flow. Because if river current would not have been there, we can simply state if water is at rest, then this swimmer will be able to reach the point D. So this D to C is the drift due to river flow, and this D C can be written as the river flow velocity multiplied by the time taken to cross the river, that is, d by v s cos t. This also you should keep in mind and reanalyze the whole situation once again in your copy. Uh, now we'll come to another case similar to this. Now again in sequence we'll study upstream swimming in a flowing river. Say we are having a river which is flowing at a river current U F, and the swimmer is there on one bank of the river at position A. The directly opposite point on the other bank is say B. Now, if the swimmer jumps into the river and starts swimming in upstream direction, that is opposite to the flow velocity, say at an angle theta with the velocity v s. Now, in this situation again, the flow velocity will be added to it, that is u f, and finally we'll get the net velocity of swimmer v s net. It is the direction in which the swimmer will be actually moving and reaching the point c. Here again, if we just analyze the motion, we can say when swimmer jumps at a speed v s, making an angle theta with the direction to normal, it will be having a vertical component perpendicular to the river flow, that is v s cos theta, and another component of the swimmer velocity which is opposite to the river current, that is v s sine theta. 
So in this situation, we can easily calculate the crossing velocity of swimmer VC. That is again V S cos theta, which helps swimmer to cross the river in a perpendicular direction. And if we calculate the total drift velocity, the total drift is provided due to U F and V S sin theta. Here you can see V S sin theta is opposite to the river current, and the total drift with respect to the point which is directly opposite to the starting point. If this is X D. The total drift is due to the velocity u f minus v s sine theta. So the velocity with which it is moving forward, that is total drift velocity, can be written as u f minus v s sine theta. So using these, if we calculate time to cross river, here time to cross river can be simply given by d upon v s cos theta. If d is the width of the river, which is crossed. By the swimmer with the velocity v s cos theta, it can be written as d by v s cos theta, or it can also be given as a c divided by the magnitude of v s net. If we calculate by using triangle rule of vector addition, and using this time, we can also calculate the total drift. Here, total drift can be given as x d is equals to this is the drift velocity multiplied by the time because it was started from point A. So it is U F minus V S sine theta multiplied by D by V S cos theta. So be careful about such analysis because there will be several questions based on uh, these analysis.